Hello, today I'm going to show you a way to square numbers in the 40s, which is going to help you to very quickly understand the number, break it down, and get the answer that you need. First of all, what you want to do, you want to look at 40 in a little different way. Now, I understand that 4 squared is 16, but for this particular technique, you want to look at 4 squared as 15, and then add each number to 15 to get your answer. Now, what you want to do is, let's say, for example, you have 41. You're going to look at 41 as 1 to 15, which is 16. Then you look at the 1, and you'll subtract that from 10, and that's 9. Then you will square that number. So 9 squared is 81. It's simple as that. The answer would be 1681. Now, as you go through this, again, you have to understand the hardest part of this technique is, is going a little bit against what is universally accepted as a square of 4. Okay, It's going to be 15 instead of 16. Then again, you want to also know that you look at the last number and you're going to take away the difference between that number and 10 and then square that. That's why it's going to be a little bit hard in the beginning, but once you kind of figure it out, it becomes very, very easy to do. So let's do another one. Let's do 42 squared. Again, you're taking that you're taking that two and adding it to fifteen. It's make, making it seventeen. Okay. Now, if you look at the two, you're going to say two from ten leaves eight, and then you're going to square eight, and that's sixty-four. Okay. And that's the best way to do it. Just to look at that number and subtract it from ten. Okay. And so the answer, of course, would be going back over again. You have a two, so it's seventeen. Then you have eight, which is 64 and that's your answer 1764 alright do one more now again you have to understand the principle to get the answer looking at 43 immediately you're going to add 3 to 15 to make it 18 then you're looking at the 3 and you say 3 from 10 is 7 and you square the 7 and it's going to be 49 okay that's the answer 1849. Okay. Now, if you were to go through the rest of these, it's just as simple. And it's it's even easier as your numbers get higher. For example, when you're doing when you're doing 44, again it's going to be 19 and then 36. When you're doing 45, again that's going to be 20 and 25. It just gets easier and easier. So I want you to just kind of work with me and just understand that this is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a bit counterintuitive to what you've seen before because, again, you're saying to yourself, how is it 15 and, and how can you take away from 10? If you do it the normal way, you'll see you, you'll be doing a lot of carrying. By doing the 15, you take away the need to do one extra carry as you go through the equation. So it gets very easy. Move on to the next number that we didn't cover yet. Let's do uh, 46 squared. Okay, again, if you add 6 to 15, it's going to be 21. Uh, what's left over from 6 is 4, so 4 squared is 16, so it's 21 and 16. 47, easy again. It's got to be 22, right? Okay, and only left from a 7 is a 3, and that's going to be 09, so 20, 2209. Very easy, okay? And um, let's do 28. 28, that's 15, and 8 is, is 23, and that's going to be 2, so it's a 4. And the last one would be um, 49, so 9 makes it 2401. Very easy. So practice that, make sure you understand that, and again, if you ask someone to challenge you against their particular skill of squaring numbers in the 40s, you will always win because this is such a quick method. I love these methods, I'm showing you because they're very quick. And they're very accurate and they teach you principles about how numbers form and helping you to square numbers easily. This is one of the best things I can think of. So thanks for watching. And by the way, this is the anniversary of my making videos. Today is the 21st of January and I started last year on this day. I want to thank you for watching, for your subscriptions, and for your suggestions. So until next time, you have a great day. Thank you.